Sometimes when you're working in Excel, it can be useful to highlight an entire column or a fraction of that column based on the header of that column using conditional formatting. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Let's jump into it. All right, this is a spreadsheet I used in the video I made yesterday where I explained how to use conditional formatting to highlight an entire row of data based on one of the cells in that row. Now I want to highlight a column of data based on the column header, and I'm going to use conditional formatting to do that too. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to cell L4 and type in header. And I type in header there so I know that cell K4 is where I'm going to put the drop down to select the header I want to highlight. And in order to create that drop down list, I'm going to come up here to the data tab, click on data validation, select list, and then in the source, I'm going to select all of my header values and click OK. That gives me a list of all of my headers. Next, I need to apply the conditional formatting. So I'm going to come up to Home, Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, and type the following format. Equals a dollar sign one equals, and then I'm going to select K4. And an easy way to think about this formula or to state it to yourself in your mind so that it makes a little more sense than this, is you can imagine the equal as being the word if as part of an if-then statement. And then the formatting is going to be the then part of the statement. So if I were using that convention, I would say if a1 equals k4, then fill with orange. I'm going to click OK. Now notice the applies to range is only cell K4 right now. That's because cell K4 was the cell that was selected when I clicked the conditional formatting option. So I need to change this to the range where I want it to apply. And in this case, I just want it to apply to this table. Now I'm going to click OK. Now notice nothing happened. It looks like it didn't work. And it should have worked because the formula was correct and the applies to range was correct. But it didn't work because Excel changed the formula on the back end because I didn't have cell A1 selected when I clicked conditional formatting. I'm not sure why Excel does this, but it'll often break your conditional formatting formulas if you don't have cell A1 selected and you change the applies to range. So it's easy to fix. Just come up to conditional formatting, go to manage rules, change the show formatting rules for dropdown to this worksheet. And here it is. Double click the rule and you can see it changed this value from A1 to XEU1. So simple fix, change it back to A dollar sign one. Click OK, click OK, and there it is. Now it works just like we want it to. If I select a different column, like say owner last name, boom, changes and updates. So that's an easy way you can use conditional formatting to highlight a column of data based on the column header. All right, that's about it. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you like this content, please subscribe. See you in the next one.